Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video where today I'll be showing how to set up the random loot chest type in loot chest. So once you've got the loot chest as a pack in your project, you want to navigate to the blueprints folder, chests, and then for example we'll be using the random loot chest. So we just drag and drop that in. And now looking over to the details panel, you can see we've got a few exposed variables here. So for the first one being amount of spawn. This refers to how many items that this chest will drop once opened. So we'll, if you can see it's on 3 at the moment, that's using the small chest. If we then change this to say 6, you'll see it will automatically change to the large chest model. But we'll bring it back down to 3, just to go back to the small chest. Now the row name refers to the row name that's set up in the data table. And the data table is what powers this whole loot chest system. So if I go to the data table here, You'll see I've got three examples set up by default. So if we've got loop pool one and then season one and a season two. Loop pool one and loop pool and season one are just the exact same. With season two, you'll see that these numbers change. And how the uh, common, uncommon, rare and epic percentages work is the higher the number, the less likely that it is to spawn. So you can see, for example, in season one, the epic was a 90%. And you could say based on feedback, for example, that the epic was just too rare. So coming into season two, all the values got sort of dropped a little bit. And now back to the chest setup. We've got the item interval. So this is the delay between each item dropping out of the chest. So we can say, let's put this on uh, two. So it'll be two seconds. We'll leave instant unlock on false because we want the player to have to interact with this chest for it to open. And we'll see that they have to hold E for, let's say, 4 seconds. And then we'll do the closed chest on true. So that means that after the last item has been dropped, after a delay, that the chest will then close. So we'll just say 2 seconds. And that's it. So now once I click play, and come over to the random loot chest that we just placed, and I will hold E, you'll see we've got a 4 second timer. And then when the chest opens, the items will drop out on a one second interval and then when it releases the final item the chest will eventually close and then the player is able to to pick up the items so that's it for the random chest type in loot chest uh, thank you for watching